Hello everyone, so we're going to have another lesson today and I will just change this to the let me just check that everybody can hear me okay I know I have a couple of people with me just checking I've got messages on my phone Adil can you hear me if you can write on the platform it would be better than writing on my phone. Let me see. Okay, I think there might be some technical issues there. Okay, I'll just start the lesson. So today we are going to, <clears throat> it's lesson four, and we have, it's very slightly different today because we have got a reading task as we had before. There's some questions that we're going to answer um, that have to do with the reading task. Then we're going to look at parts of sentences again, but today instead of synonyms, we're going to look at antonyms. Okay, now antonyms are the opposite meaning of words rather than the similar meaning of words which we have looked at before. Then we'll do some pronunciation, some spellings, and then another dictation. Okay, so let's get started. So for the reading, we have the, the girl is waiting for her friend. She is waiting on the bench near the fence. She is waiting for the boy. The boy and the girl are going to play in the park. The boy is late. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. She sees him at the swings. She goes over to meet him. They play on the swings and go as high as they can. They giggle and laugh the whole time. Okay, right. I'm going to read this more slowly now and give you a chance to repeat after me. So we have... The girl is wait the girl is waiting for her friend. The girl is waiting for her friend. So if you say it She is waiting on the bench. She is waiting on the bench. She is waiting on the bench. Near the fence. Near the fence. It doesn't matter if you can't pronounce the words perfectly. Just try and get the rhythm of the sentence. She is waiting for the boy. She is waiting for the boy. The boy and the girl are going to play in the park. The boy and the girl are going to play in the park. <clears throat> the boy is late. The boy is late.
The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. These sentences are a little bit long. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. She sees him at the swings. She sees him at the swings. Okay. Okay, I've just got your message, Adil. Adil, do you want to see if you can write on the platform? Do you think you could write in the message box? Because I can see that you're on here. Okay. I hope you can hear me. Let me just check. The next part... She goes over to meet him. She goes over to meet him. Okay, that's good. They play on the swings and go as high as they can. They play on the swings and go as high as they can. So repeat after me. Oh, okay. They giggle and laugh the whole time. They giggle and laugh the whole time. Okay, let's just do this one more time because there's quite a lot of sentences here. It's more than we had yesterday and the day before. But the words are quite simple. Okay, so focusing on the rhythm, it doesn't matter about the pronunciation of the words at the moment. The girl is waiting for her friend. The girl is waiting for her friend. She is waiting on the bench near the fence. She is waiting on the bench near the fence. She is waiting for the boy. She is waiting for the boy. Try and blend your words together. The boy and the girl are going to play in the park. The boy and the girl are going to play in the park. The boy is late. The boy is late. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. She sees him at the swings. She sees him at the swings. She goes over to meet him. She goes over to meet him. They play on the swings and go as high as they can. They play, they play on the swings and go as high as they can. They giggle and laugh the whole time. They giggle and laugh the whole time. Okay, we're now going to move on to the actual questions. So we have at the top, 
the text that we've just read and we also have the questions underneath so I will read the questions out to you and then we will answer the questions so who is the girl waiting for who is the girl waiting for that's quite simple the sentence that we need is at the top here and so you would write the whole of this sentence as your answer so the girl is waiting for her friend so that is the answer to the question. We can find the answers easily from the text. The girl is waiting for her friend. So you just take that sentence as your answer. Adil, if you could type in here, I would have waited for you to write the answer, but because I know you can't, I'm just going to go through this. Um, what are the boy and the girl going to do? So what are the boy and the girl going to do? Now we know she was waiting for her friend, we know she had ice cream, but in the end we can see over here at the bottom they play on the swings. So they're going to play on the swings. So the answer to the question would be they are going to, like we said in yesterday's lesson and the day before, when you answer the question, you take the words from the question itself. So, you instead of the, you could say the boy and the girl are going to play on the swings. That's a shame you can't use it. Um, I don't know, Adil. Don't worry. Don't worry for today. Just, um, you'll just have to text me on my phone and then maybe tomorrow you can sort out your, um, logging in problems. Okay. So just don't worry about logging in today. If you have to, then answer on my phone then. <laughs> I can see your message on my phone, so just answer the question on my phone then. Okay, I'll just have to look on the screen and my phone at the same time. So, do you want to answer um, what are the boy and the girl going to do? Write that answer down on my phone then, if you can't write it on the platform. Okay, I know there's a time delay as well, so I'm going to go on to the next question just in case. So the next question says, what does the girl do while she is waiting for the boy? What does the girl do while she is waiting for the boy? So we know that the boy was late and we know she was doing something before he came. So, if we go back here, we can see in the text, the boy is late, the girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. So, the answer to this question would be, while she is waiting for the boy, the girl eats an ice cream. So we can take the girl eats an ice cream and just add that part of the text onto the end of this part of the question. So from the while, while she is waiting for the boy, the girl eats an ice cream. Okay, that would be the answer to the second question. I mean, the third question. Then we have, where does the girl see the boy? So she goes looking for the boy and she does find him, but where does she see him? So if we look at the next part here, it says she sees him 
at the swings. So she sees him at the swings. So that would be the answer to question four. She sees him at the swings. And then if we have a look at the last question, it says, what do the boy and girl play on? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? But we need to put the answer into, uh, we need to put the answer into a sentence. So, what do the boy and girl play on? You could start the answer with they play on. So we're taking the words from the question. Or we could start the answer with the boy and the girl play on. So the boy and the girl play on, and we know they're playing on the swings. So the boy and the girl play on the swings. Or they play on the swings. Okay. I hope that was okay, Adil. Oh, I have another follower. I don't know who that is. Do you want to sign in? I mean, write me a message so and just let me know that you can hear me fine. I know there's people having technical difficulties. It's fine. Right. Um, let's move on to the next part then. So we now have parts of a sentence. So this time we're going to look at a few different things today. Now, before we looked at um, adjectives, we also looked at prepositions. And today we're going to look at verbs and pronouns. So it's the same text again that we've just read. And we're going to identify these parts of a sentence. But before we do that, I just need to close the door because my daughter just opened it. So bear with me one second. Okay, back now. Right. So, as I said, the text that we've just read is at the top. We're going to answer these questions, basically. So the first thing we're going to do is find three verbs. Now, a verb is a doing word. Okay, so a doing word, something that you do. So let's have a look at the text and see if we can identify the things that we can do. Now, the most, well, a lot of doing words, if it's, if they're written in the past tense, they have an ed ending. If they're written in, um, a participle tense, well, as a participle, then we have an ing ending. So we can see from the first sentence, the girl is waiting for her friend. So in the first sentence, waiting would be your verb. Okay. Then if we go on to the next sentence. We see that she is waiting again on the bench near the fence. And then there's more waiting. So we've already covered that waiting is a verb. So on this sentence, we have got going. So you can go. So that is another verb. So waiting and going. We need a third one. Right. The boy is late. We got, we could use is. And we could use the verb, uh, was there another one here? Are. We could use the verb are, but I'm not looking at those because those are helper verbs. Those are auxiliary verbs that are attached to the going. So I don't, I'm not looking for auxiliary verbs at the moment. I'm looking for main verbs. So waiting, going, I need a third one. So something else that she does. The girl eats an ice cream. So eating is something that you do. So eating would be your third verb. Okay. 
So we have waiting, going and eating. We could have also had looks because you can look. We could have had see because you can see. Um, goes is the same as go. Play, you can play. So that's another verb. And giggle and laugh. Those are more verbs that we could have chosen from this text. So any one of those to make up the three. Right, now, on the next question, it says find four pronouns. Now, pronouns are words we use instead of a noun. So, a noun is a place, a person or a thing. So, for example, a table is a noun, a lamp is a noun, computer, um, phone, they're all nouns. Uh, boy, girl, dog, they're all nouns. Now, when we write sentences, we can't write nouns all the time. Sometimes we need to use pronouns instead of nouns. So, for example, if we look here at the first two sentences, the girl is waiting for her friend. Now, in that sentence, we have the little word her. What I could have written is, the girl is waiting for the girl's friend. Okay, so I could have written the girl instead of her. But that would have made the sentence too long and it makes the sentence boring if you keep repeating your noun. So, the girl is waiting for the girl's friend, the girl is waiting on the bench, the girl is waiting near the fence. If you keep saying the girl, the girl, the girl, the girl, the girl, then it gets very monotonous, very boring. So what we have to do is we can change the girl to a pronoun. So we use a little word instead in place of the girl. So here we've got her. So we don't have to say the girl's friend, we can just say her friend. So her is the pronoun for the girl. So it says here we need to find four pronouns. So four little words that we use instead of a noun. Okay, so we found the first one, her. Let's see if we can find another one. If we look at the next sentence, we have, she is waiting on the bench. Who is she? We know that the she here must mean the girl. So she is being used instead of the word the girl. So again, this little word must be a pronoun. It's being used instead of the girl. So that's our second pronoun. So we had her as our first pronoun and she as our second pronoun. Okay, so we've got two pronouns. We need to find two more, two more different pronouns. So if we go along, we have she again. Can't have that one because we've already got she. And then, if we come down here, the boy and the girl are going to play in the park. There's no pronouns there because the full noun is being used. The boy and the girl, they're the full nouns, so they're being used instead. The boy is late, we're using the full noun again. The girl eats, we're using the noun again. So let's come down here. The girl looks for the boy. We're using the noun again. We've already got she. She sees him at the swings. Who does she see? She sees the boy. So instead of writing the boy, we have him. So him is the pronoun for the boy. So that's our third pronoun. So we had she, we had her, and we've now got him. There we are, it's there. So we need a fourth one. Let's see if we move along. We've got she again, we've got him again. They 
play on the swings. But who are they? So they here must mean both the children. So both the boy and the girl. Okay, so both of them are they. So instead of writing the boy and the girl play on the swings, we have they play on the swings. Okay, so that is our fourth pronoun. So we had her, she, him and they. Right, so those are our four pronouns. I know somebody else has joined and it's a shame. It looks like you might not be able to type as well. But anyway, I'll move on. So the, sec the third question says fill in the missing words. Now we have the words that should fit into these spaces here. So we need to put these words into these spaces. Right, so we need... Something girl is waiting for her something. This one's easy. We already know she's waiting for her friend. So let's put this one in first because that's an easy one. Whoops, wrong screen. I'm going to do this one first because that's easy enough. Right, can you work out what should go in this space then? We have the, him and she. We can't have she girl him girl so it must be the girl because we need to have an article with the noun so the article here is the the girl is waiting for her friend now we need to start this sentence with a word and that which then carries on to she sees him at the swing. So him sees him at the swings, that wouldn't make sense. So it must be she sees him at the swings. So we're using a pronoun again. She sees him at the swings. And then another pronoun again. She goes over to meet him. Him again is another pronoun. Okay, so today we were looking at pronouns. There we go. Right, we can now move on to the next one. Okay, today we're going to look at antonyms. Now, before we looked at synonyms, but synonyms are words that have similar meanings to other words, but these words now are going to be opposite meanings. Okay, so it's not the same um, meaning, it's the opposite meaning. So we have here girl, play, late, wait and laugh. Okay, and the opposite meanings are, but they're not in order because we need to match up the right um, antonyms, early, boy, cry, work and go. So we have girl. We need to find the opposite of girl, not the same as girl, the opposite of girl. Now the only one that would be the opposite here would be the most obvious one, boy. You can have a boy and the opposite would be a girl. Okay. Let's have a look at play. Now play Play is what you do to have fun. So if you're going to be serious and do a different activity, that activity would have to be, well, it couldn't be early. Um, cry wouldn't fit. We've got work and go. Well, go doesn't make sense. So the most obvious one would be work. So we have play and work would be the opposite of play. Let's have a look at the next one. We have late. So late, if we have a look at the list, well late means you didn't come on time. So the opposite of late would be 
you come before the time that you're supposed to come. Okay, so the most obvious one here, or the one that would fit here, is early. Early means to come before the time you're supposed to be there. Late is you come after the time, and early is you come before the time. So late and early are opposites. Now we have the word wait. Now wait is what you do when you're sitting waiting for somebody to come. Okay, so when you're sitting around or you're standing around and you're, the time is just going and you're not doing anything, that is waiting. So the opposite of wait would not be to stand still or to sit still, it would be to move forward or to go. And we can see from this list here that the word go is here at the bottom. So the opposite of wait would be to go. And then finally, we have the word laugh. Now, laugh, obviously, when you're happy, you would be laughing. And, but if you're not happy, you would be sad. And if you were sad, then you would be crying. So here, the opposite of laugh would be cry. Okay, so we were looking at opposites today, not synonyms. Okay, let's move on. Okay, some pronunciation. Let's have a look at how these words are pronounced. Now, we can see that we have a g, and then in the middle, we actually have a blend. Now, the blend, if we were going to say these sounds separately, we would say i and er. So, i er. Now, if we said it like that, i er, and then a l, we would get a g i er. -l. Now, that wouldn't be pronounced properly because instead of saying an i er, that is actually an er sound. The I R in the middle makes an er sound. It's a blended sound. So it's actually three sounds. It's g, er, l, girl. Okay, so it's a g, er, l, girl. Not an i, er. We don't pronounce these two um, sounds separately. We pronounce it as one sound, which is an er, girl. Let's have a look at this one. Right, this word, play, if we sounded it out separately, we would have got a p, a l, l and a a, and a y. Then we would have got a p, l, a, a, y, which you can't pronounce like that. And the reason being is because your a and your y actually makes another separate sound. It's another blend, and that's an a sound. So an a and a y together makes an A sound. So we have P, L, A. So there's only three sounds here, there's not four. So it's P, L, A, play, P, L, A, play. Right, let's have a look at the next word. Again, we have a blended sound at the end. So we have our h, as you'd expect, but then the e and the er is actually an er sound together. We don't have to say e er, we just say er. So there's actually only two sounds here. It's a h and a er. Her, when you blend them together. Okay, so only two sounds here. H and er. Her. Okay, or her. Right, let's have a look at the next word. Again, we have a blended sound in the middle. So, the A and the I makes an A sound. So, we actually have a W, A, T. Okay, so it's a W, A, T. Wait. 
only three sounds, not four sounds. Four letters, but only three sounds. So the sound in the middle again is an A sound. The A-I makes an A sound together. So we have W, A, T, wait. Okay, let's have a look at the one down the bottom. The one down the bottom has actually got two blended sounds in this word. So we have five, we have five letters, but only three sounds. Okay, now they're a bit odd because the, the AU, the AU makes an A sound and the GH makes a F sound. So, which is quite confusing. So when you see a GH together, it usually makes a F sound, an F sound, which is very confusing. And the AU here makes an A sound. So instead we get U, A, F, laugh. So it's a U, A, F. Three sounds, five letters. Okay? Laugh. L, or U, A, F, laugh. Okay, let's go back over these words again. So the first word, girl, g, r, u, girl, p, u, a, play, h, r, her, and then w, a, t, wait, w, a, t, wait. And then we have u, a, f, laugh. Okay, right. <clears throat> Let's move. Actually, I need to hide the screen, don't we? Because now it's going to be the spelling test, which is actually the same words that we've just <laughs> pronounced. So you will need a pen and paper to write down the spellings of these words correctly. I know it's a bit quick and I hope you remember how the blends were constructed so that you can work at the actual spelling. And I will try and give you a hand with this. Okay, so the first word was girl. Remember, there are four letters but three sounds. We have g, r, g, r, girl. So if you can spell the word girl. The next word is play. Again, remember there was a blended sound in here. We had p, l, and then a. So how do you spell play? The next word is her. Remember three letters but two sounds. How do you spell her? Okay, the next word is wait. Again, three sounds but four letters. So how do you spell wait? What at the beginning, t at the end, a at the, in the middle, wait. How do you spell wait?
And then finally, we have laugh. Like this time, five letters, three sounds. L -a -f. But how are those letters written? What letters do you need to make that word? Laugh. Okay, I will show you what that looks like. And you should have got those spellings. How many of those did you get right? That last one was the trickiest one. La, la, a, u makes the a, ah, a ah sound. And then g, h makes the f sound, love. And this one's a little tricky, the A sound, A, I for A. So here, if you notice, you've got P, P, L, A, A, Y makes the A sound. And then you've got the A, I that also makes an A sound. Okay, so like you have in the alphabet A, A, B, C, D. So A, Y, A, I, and just the letter A makes the A sound. You have the A sound and you have the A sound. Okay, but here in laugh, you have an ah, ah sound when it's joined to the U. Okay, not always, but in this case, that's what we have. Okay, let's move along. I need to hide this again for our dictation. So, okay, I'm going to read a sentence now. And it's going to, it's got a couple of the words in from the um, spelling test. It hasn't got um, that many in. So we have, when you're ready, the boy is late. The boy is late. Remember to put your capital letters and full stops in. The next sentence. The girl eats an ice cream. The girl eats an ice cream. This is quite a long dictation, actually. The girl eats an ice cream. That's not the end of the sentence. It carries on. While she waits for the boy. While she waits for the boy. So the whole sentence is, the girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. Okay, the next sentence. The girl looks for the boy. The girl looks for the boy.
And the last sentence, she sees him at the swings. She sees him at the swings. Okay, I'll read all of it again one last time. The boy is late. The girl eats an ice cream while she waits for the boy. The girl looks for the boy. She sees him at the swings. Okay, right. I will show you what that looks like. You should have got that. Did you get that? There might be some spellings you didn't get, but don't worry about it. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson. So I hope that was helpful and I will probably have another lesson tomorrow. Um, I will put the details up on the schedule. Um, what day is it tomorrow? Yes, probably have one tomorrow. So I will see you then. I'm sorry that some of you had difficulty um, logging in and not being able to type but hopefully you can sort that out before the next lesson okay okay then so I will see you again soon have a good day bye do you speak English yes I do come join us for help with pronunciation intonation fluency accent production and more easynativeenglish.com